Welcome everyone. This is a live recording of a webinar that we did comparing the two best bling machines on the market, the CAMS 1v2P Rhinestone machine and the Pro Spangle Spangle Transfer System. This place t takes place in August of 2015. We hope you get a lot out of it. If you are on Facebook, you have to join the Custom Apparel Startups Facebook group. It used to be optional, but now it's definitely a must. Uh, we've got more than a thousand members that do almost nothing but but talk business. They talk the custom apparel business. Um, occasionally, Coleman and Company will put a, a, a money saving coupon up there. We'll post articles. We've got a couple of people that have asked for help recently with accounting software. It's really there for you guys to talk to each other and to us about more than just pieces of equipment, but about how to make money doing doing custom apparel. So. I encourage you to, uh, to sign up for that. We also have a pretty amazing YouTube channel. Right now we're over 700 videos. And once you click on the link that I'm uh, chatting to you, just go to this red button here and click subscribe. What will happen then is whenever we come out with a new video, could be a demonstration video, could be just us printing cool things with a DTG printer, or it could be for some reason, um, I use Evernote, which is a little... Um, note-taking and kind of organizational application. I use it all the time. So I did a demonstration video on that and put it up. There's all kinds of good stuff that we put on the YouTube channel and you will hear about it first if you subscribe. The next thing I'm going to encourage you to do is to um, go to Custom Apparel Start, uh, sorry, CAS Podcast. It is a Custom Apparel Startups podcast that me and the uh, internationally renowned Mark Vila um, do basically an internet radio show. The last one was about DTG printing. We've done them on websites, offline marketing essentials, um, simple tips for small business start startups, a couple of great interviews. It's a great resource for you guys to, to learn a little bit, maybe listen while you work. And of course, we have some rich websites. Pro Spangle and Cam's Machine websites both have a huge amount of information. I would encourage you not just go to write to the ROI or to the machines page, but to look at some of the articles that we've got. Rhinestone transfer ROI, starting a rhinestone business, all kinds of good stuff. So we try to be more than just an equipment company. We try to make sure that, um, and Lance, you are hereby approved since I know you're online. Um, I will go ahead and approve you, so welcome to the group. Um, we try to be more than just an equipment company. We're here to help you succeed. Because I don't know if you knew this, but a significant percentage of the people that of the machines that we sell every month, we sell to uh, to repeat customers. So you're going to buy a CAMS or a Pro Spangle machine from us, and then you're going to come back for an embroidery machine or a DTG. So we want to make sure you're making in business. Okay, I am now going to bring over Tracy. Tracy, I'm going to slip out of the way here, just so you can say hi, hi, and reiter reiterate what we're going to do tonight. We are going to talk about our CAMS rhinestone machine, and we are also going to talk about our Pro Spangle machine, two of my very favorite machines. Says the bling lady. Yes. yes. All right, so first I think maybe what we'll do is we will get Alan Gripton in to, uh, to show off the software. The software will run either machine, so it's nice to see what you can do for both machines, or if you already have a CAMS, what you can do for the Spangle, and vice versa. Yep. Okay. So, Alan, I'm going to switch over here. And you are all set. Guys, you're welcome to ask questions during the, just type in your questions during the presentation, and we will get to them, uh, get to them when we can. And what we're going to do, we're going to create a simple design, a baseball mom design. It's baseball season, so one of the favorite things that people do in bling are things for their kids, whether it be a high school, college, or uh, just a, a, a local a local team. Uh, we just went on the internet here, and I just grabbed I just grabbed a, a baseball, and you can see here's uh, well the baseball was here. Hold on, there it is right there. I just grabbed this from the internet, and you don't want to practice this because you want to make sure that the things that you're grabbing off the internet are not copywritten. We're just going to use this one just to explain how the software actually works. The software works very comfortably within a Windows environment computer. Um, we have a full um, editing software that comes w uh, that's embedded into the software that we can con uh, edit clip art images, JPEGs, or import even vectors. 
you have the, those capabilities. In our artwork tab, you can see we can bring in any rasterized image. And those rasterized formats are bitmap, JPEG, paintbrush, GIF, Targa bitmaps, clip arts, and PNGs. Now, most of the stuff you'll have on the internet are going to be PNGs, okay? Even this one here, the CCLA one. On the vector form, on the vector side of things, we have the ability to bring in vector formats such as WMF, EMF, CorelDRAW images, uh, Presentation Exchange, which is going to be a software you're not going to see too much of, Adobe Illustrator, all those people that are using uh, uh, DXF uh, formats for cutting out um, uh, cutting out block material or actually cutting out vinyl, you'll be able to bring those in. And people that are using PLT files for actually cutting flocks to do brush, brush and breaks, with the right add-on with the software, you will be able to bring all those PLT files into the software and convert them all to rhinestones to be sent to one of those one of these two machines. So, so basically, Alan, if, if these guys are already in the graphics business, they're already doing custom shirts or something sure. like that, they can use all the software they already are yes. along with Hotfix, Absolutely. but they don't have to, do they? No, they do not have to. They can create their own uh, graph. They can create their own rhinestones image from scratch. Also. All those CAMS users out there that have CAMS machines that are using Gem Master software, there is a YNG add-on that you can add on to the software to bring all those Gem Master files into and send it to a Spangle machine. So all those archaic um, uh, uh, softwares out there that are were used for the CAMS machine or plotter cutters or, or even vinyl cutters, all those formats can be brought in and easily converted to rhinestones. Now, with that all said, I'm, going to, I'm just going to walk through the four basic steps that we need to accomplish every time we, we want to create a, a rhinestone or a spangled design. First of all, we need a clip art image. Now, the clip art image doesn't have to be very clean. If you look at this one here, you can see that there's gradients of white here. You can see that there's white up here, and it goes into a green here, a gray, more greens down here than a darker tone. And even in the reds, we see a little bit of haloing of lighter reds around the edges. We do have a full editing feature in the software where all we got to do is click on the image and the color reduction tool is what we want to do. I'm going to tell it to see up to 32 colors here and you'll see all those colors that are in our graphic are displayed right here. We are going to simplify the coloring of this image by reducing it to the three basic colors you have, black, white, and red. You tell the software to reduce it down to that color and there it is. You can see all those hues that we've had in this image before are now gone and we have the basic primary colors. The next step is we have to do is we're going to edit further where we're actually going to size the baseball to incorporate it under baseball mom. The O, the, the baseball is actually going to be the O in the mom. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into text and I'm going to type in the word baseball and then I'm going to type in M. I'm going to keep a space in between the M and the other M. The software works off of the, the fonts, the true type fonts that are found in your Windows um, computer. Uh, if it's there, you'll have it to, to use. We're going to use this autumn one, which is pretty cool. It's a nice bold font. We're going to set the size of the font. We're going to go to a 3.0 inch. inch. I'm, not, I'm not even going to bold it. I'm just going to keep it regular. Oh, there we oh go. that's big. There we go. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to measure this out. You know, layout, you can see the image size is actually 16 inches. That's incredibly large. Uh, that'll eat up our profits in one day. All right, so I'm going to bring this down to uh, a comparable 10-inch uh, 10, 10, uh, image. And we'll just sneak the mom, the, the, uh, the baseball in there for uh, the mom. Good. Right, let me just bring this over here, and I'll drop this in here. Now, for further editing, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to ungroup this image. And I'm just going to grab mom and bring it closer. By the way, I think, uh, well, Alan's done this a few times before. Uh, you should know that training is included with any of the machines that you get. So you will learn how to do this, and you'll be able to do do it maybe a little slower than Alan does right now, but but you will be capable at, okay. uh, of doing all this stuff. Just reading the directions, the instructions that came with the software took me three months, so it's not all that bad. Okay. <laughs> All right, so now we have our, our image here. What I want to do now is add the stones I intend to use for this image. If we go to the Hotfix tab, over here on the, on the sidebar are the stones that, and we're going to build this catalog up based upon what we're going to use. So I'm going to go into my catalog, and I intend to make the baseball mom. Uh, we're going to make that red, and we're going to make it an SS, uh, maybe a, two, a three millimeter red. So I'm going to choose the type of stone. Choose the size of stone, SS10, 
and I'll choose the color. And we'll add it to our V bar. The next we're going to use uh, the white is going to be a two millimeter. So I'm going to go to the SS6. I'm going to add my clear fillet. And clear is right here. Add that to the V bar. And then we'll have an SS6 red as well for the detail of the, of the base bar. Okay, now converting this to rhinestones is very simple. What we're going to do, we're going to choose the size of the stone we're going to use first. I'm going to do baseball mom first. I'm going to click on the SS10 stone. I'm going to click on the fill that I want to use, which is going to be uniform fill. And I'm going to click, uh, what I'm going to do is click on uh, B A S E B A L L. By the way, guys, uh, one important thing when he says rhinestone, it's just, it's the circle. It's a circle. So it's going to end up being a rhinestone or a spangle. It really doesn't matter. Now that I've, I've selected all the characters of Baseball Mom, I'm just going to go to Smart Design here and choose the fill. And just like that, we have rhinestones in Baseball Mom. There we go. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually change that up a little bit, not like in the detail I'm seeing. So what I'll do is I'll go in there and choose them all. And I'm going to convert them to NSS 6 instead, see if I get better detail. Also, I'm going to take my bead spacing down a little bit tighter. And there we go. I get a lot better. Let's turn off the vector so they can see that. It uh, looks a lot better there. So what I'm going to do, I can actually, uh, let's, 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 let's edit it further. Let's go to three on there. So while, while he's tweaking the, the, the design here, how many of you are using something like Corel Draw or using a plotter to create uh, rhinestone designs? Raise your hand. Because I... Okay, so we do have a couple of people that are doing that. So some of the things that you see Alan doing here would be an incredible chore to do. You'd have to go out into Corel, change the design, um, re-import it. And then once you import a, a rhinestone design from Corel or as a PLT, you can no longer edit it like this. You, you're moving individual stones. Hey, what I'm doing is I'm moving these nodes, which actually control the shape of this egg. And by moving these these little nodes, I start to get the room available to put those st the stones will fill in automatically. There we go. So now what we want to do, I'm going to actually convert the baseball, which is the JPEG, uh, to rhinestone. So I'm going to choose the next color stone. I'm going to choose my fill. And for JPEGs or anything rasterized images, you're going to use your magic wand found under autocomplete. Once I click on it, you see it's selected. I hit enter. Enter. And then enter. And I'll select those three parts and adjust my bead spacing. There we go. So let's turn off the image and see what we got. So we got basically a baseball. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut in these red, these red lines here. To do that, I'm going to go back to Hotfix. I'm going to choose the SS6 stone. And this time I'm going to do a manual, a manual path here. And I'm just going to start here. I'm just going to draw a vector line. <coughs> Right down to the end here. Hit enter. It's going to overlay that with stones. And then we'll come up to the top here. Just scroll down to the top. Place that line right there. Hit enter. And now the last step we have to do is look for any uh, areas that are colliding where we have stones over top of stones like we have on baseball mom. Before I do that, I'm just going to resize this a little bit better. So it's more in line with the uh, baseball mom here. here. One thing I want to point out, when, when he resizes it, it automatically adjusts the fill. Yes, it does. The other thing I'm going to do here is actually adjust margin. See, margin actually is going to bring these white stones off the red. You can do that by right over here, margin. The higher the number, the closer, further away from the red they get. I don't have to go to 15. Okay. I'm going to go to, instead of going to 15, I'll probably just take it to 8. It comes closer to the red areas. Maybe seven. And once I find a good number that works, I'm going to apply that number to the rest of the fill. And that's uh, four is not good. Five, six is a good number. So I'm going to apply it to this one. There we go. And then we'll do six over here as well. And there we go.
there's our image. So now we want to further edit this. We can actually add a border around baseball, Mom. You just click on the B. Well, I'm going to click on the color I want the border to be. Click on the B, click on border, and turn on the border. There we go. And then I'll go back to body, and I'm going to change it from a radial type fill, which tries to encirculate the fill, to a more hex fill, which actually is going to give me a lot better detail. And we're going to do the same thing for all of these. So if, I, if you hold your control button, you can multiple select different objects. And then over here, I can change it all to a hexagon. I can add the border right from here. And there we go. I think that looks pretty good. So I'm just going to adjust each one individually now until we get a better looking fill. There we go. That looks, that looks better. Look at that on a, on a, on a uh, black background. Yeah. You'll see what, how, how easy that was to create. We have some empty stones here. You have an editing feature right over here on the left side. It's Edit Hotfix. You can just click on any stone. And if you right click, it gives you that Insert Hotfix. And I could strategically place these stones in there or move them about to fix those blank areas. Move this one over here. That's awesome. So there we go. Hey, Tracy. Now we'll do a cost analysis of this. Uh, if, uh, do you want to do a cost analysis on this? Actually, uh, how many stones is it? Uh, since I had this last one, it's going to be 1,661 stones. So, Tracy, why don't you figure out a cost analysis? It took us about, I would get $25 an hour to actually create right, the rhinestone design. That would be part of the fee that you would charge. And, uh, Sixteen hundred sixty-two stones. Okay. That's a pr that's a big design. Sixteen hundred stones is a big design. Mm -hmm. Total sets. All right, let's uh, switch back over to Tracy. You can talk about the one v two p because this was designed to run on the cams machine. And I'm going to make the video image really big because we are recording this today, and Tracy loves to be on camera. All right, Tracy, why don't you uh, come over here so people can see the actual CAMS 1B2P. Move on. Do any of you out there actually have a CAMS machine now? If you do, can you raise your hand? Anybody raise your hand? Um, you would see that right over there, and it doesn't look that way. Um, she's my sister. Okay. Um, if you're looking to get into the bling business, we have great options for you. We have the Cam Drinestone brand, and we have the Pro Spangle machine, which we'll talk about both. Um, the difference between the two, of course, is a rhinestone is a rhinestone that most people know. A spangle is a small, flat, shiny um, material that's like a sequin, yet there's no hole. So they're two different, um, two different things, yet the same perceived value. So if you are want to be a bling king or queen, um, it's also great to offer both. I tell people if you're going to buy a rhinestone machine, buy spangle transfers as well. That way you can offer both and vice versa with the spangle machine and buy cams um, rhinestone machine transfers. I've been selling cams since. 2009. I love selling the most proven brand in the whole industry. Um, there's nothing bad to be found. Uh, no one can talk badly about the cams. It's the best machine out there, hands down. Right. Um, I'm also very proud that every, almost every rhinestone that you see on the Olympics in the summer and the winter is done by one of our largest customers who have five of our larger six color machines. And their cams, and they've had them for a while, and they're getting two more. So, which is great. Yeah. Hey, hey, Tracy, I'm gonna mess up your uh, mess up your script and ask you to talk about how does a cams machine actually work? It doesn't. It doesn't. It's magic. Um, Come on, let's take a look. Basically, it's a two-color machine. Right. What it does is it's got two poppers in at once that either holds two different sizes or two different colors. 
you can do up to four colors with this. You just have to take out these hoppers um, and you stop your design in the middle. You take it out, you put in the colors that you want, and then you continue. It's a longer process, but some people do want full colors. I have found the people that usually buy this machine are only doing one or two colors. Right. Um, and honestly, if you look at most of the uh, most of the retail stores, if there is a rhinestone design, it's usually one or two colors. Absolutely. I mean, it's it's love with maybe clear and red, baseball right. mom with clear and red, football mom with clear and like a topaz. It's very much a two color. Um, Unless you're getting into the Ed Hardy more intricate. Right. I see there's a couple of questions. I can't get to them right now, but we will in just a moment. Okay. Um, basically, what you're doing is it's completely automatic. It's run by a vacuum pump. Um, we no longer carry a cams that carry that handles a compressor, which is wonderful. This is truly a portable machine if you are really strong or if you have two people. <laughs> right. Um, but you can take this to cheer competitions, dance competitions, um, put it on a table, and it would be absolutely amazing. People will look at it. They won't leave you alone. It, it is fascinating to watch run. As, fascinating. A, as a matter of fact, I think that um, that design is almost done, but if you hit the start button, you may, um, you may be able to finish it. Okay. He let Alan do that. He doesn't want me to. Actually, be able to watch it run now, close up too. Yeah, it's really it's really fascinating the way it works. When the gun is actually picking up rhinestones, handing it off, and then it sets it down upside down on the transfer paper, which is great. It's nervous. That's all right. That's okay. Nothing so, a pair of tweezers can't handle. So you hear how quiet it is? Yeah, no and that's with the doors it. open. Right. I'm gonna move this back. So we can answer some questions. If we close it, you can barely hear it. Um, Mark is <laughs> going to answer some questions now. All right, let's see. I know we are not muted now. Uh, Terry, you should be able to hear us. Um, can you explain more about, if you have a cans now, how you can still offer spangle material? Um, the best way to do that is to find one of our customers that actually sell transfers. Right. We have spangletransfers.com, um, blingoutloud.com. There are several customers if you'd like to contact me because basically they're just getting to sell you a transfer just like you do a rhinestone transfer and all you have to do is compress it on and then you can give your customers the option do you like it in spangle do you like it in rhinestone if you find you're doing a lot of spangles then it's Get time the to invest machine, right. it's absolutely time to invest that way you have both options and since you're doing the uh, since you're doing the design yourself in hotfix era then all you have to do is send them a design file and I have, those are two of our customers, but I can give you more that may be a little more local to where you are. Yep, there's a great list. Any other questions about the 1B2P? Do, is there a trade-in? That's one of the questions. Um, if you buy this 1B2P, you have one year to trade it in for 100% of what you paid towards the 1B6P, which is the larger machine. Okay. Um, it is six colors, but the design field is larger, and a lot of people need that for production. Because if they're doing 100, say, paw prints for school, you can get 9 or 12 paw prints on one sheet, whereas on here you might only be able to get 5. So um, that's a really good reason that people do turn it in. It's, it's, it's 150 stones a minute for this, 170 stones for that a minute. So the significance of speed isn't that much, but the design field is. And the number of colors. And the number of colors so, should so, be. So tell them the story about our, our lost receptionist. Well, we used to have a receptionist here named Kim. And if you've ever done one of these webinars with us, I like to tell this story because um, the proof is in the pudding. 
we would have so many calls. People would say, do you offer the rhinestone transfer fare? She decided to get a machine. She got the 1v2 piece. She was so busy. She traded it in. She got the 1v60, and then she quit. And yeah. we still love her, but she is killing it with the rhinestone. Yep, she is a Coleman, Coleman and Company customer right now for this town. Was the vacuum on when the cams just stoned that design? Absolutely. The vacuum well, has to be on. That's how quiet it is. And we're like, I mean, that the, the cams machine right now is in a corner, and the mic is pretty sensitive. So it's actually quieter in person. And with this machine, you get everything you need to get started, except for a heat press. You do need a heat press, which we can offer you. Um, but you're going to get a three-year parts and labor warranty, five different hoppers. That way you can trade them in and out if you do have to trade in doing a three or four color. Um, you're going to get the Sierra Hotfix software that Alan explained, which is a $995 software that we used to not include, but with this special we are. Um, you're going to get a 100 meter roll of transfer paper, which is which is huge. Um, a startup kit of stones and training, and you get just support and service for the life of the machine. Yep. Any questions? Um, just Laverne. Hey Laverne, if you have a, uh, a question about your existing machine, the best thing to do is to, and I, I forgot to brag about this, is to go to support.coldessie.com and there are videos and FAQs. One of the best things about the 1v2 PR that there's also self-paced training. Yes, all of our machines have online training, in-house training, and self-paced. That way, if you get this machine on Thursday and you're so excited to start using it and you're not getting trained till Tuesday, everything you're going to learn in training is right there. If you need to get up and get a cup of coffee, you can pause it. It's wonderful. Yeah. No one else in this industry does it. All right. Um, somebody says, I'm interested in rhinestones. How much is the machine? Um, this machine is normally 16000 but this month we are offering it for 13995 plus shipping. Okay. Where are you, uh, Catalina? Shipping is usually around $500. Yeah, that's a good dollars to $500, depending on where you're California? Going. Yeah. It'll be about $500. It'll just take a few days to get it there. Um, but, Catalina, you'd be perfect to take advantage of the live online training. You know, basically... You know, one of our guys is on the other end of a of a of a presentation like this. Right. 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 Any more questions about the CAMS 1B2P? It really is a profitable machine, especially at the price. Well, it's it's it, you would have to be hiding under a hole to not know the perceived value of rhinestones. If you have kids that are in sports, you know what a baseball mom shirt costs. That. That design that Alan did was not even over $3.50. You put that on a $4 wholesale tank top, and you can sell it for $20. That's not a bad markup at all. And 150 stones a minute, you could do more than one of those in an hour, that's for sure. Sure, and uh, most people who buy a rhinestone shirt for their kids, they're not just buying one. They're buying right. a few. Anyone, if, if they drink wine, they want people to know it. Um, and they get a rhinestone wine shirt. There's just so many things you can do with this machine, so many markets. Yeah. Um, and we've got a question. To, is, the, is this good for starting? I guess starting a starting a business. This is perfect for starting. I mean, it's, it's what you want to offer your customer. If you want to offer your customers rhinestones, you this is the perfect way to start. There's It's not labor intensive. It's very simple. You can knock out quite a few designs in one day and sell it for $20, $25, $30 even where you are in California. Yeah. Um, plus, you have the trade-in. No other company is going to take your trade-in and give you 100%. And that's just a down payment on growing your business. And honestly, it's it's basically a, a, about a two, two and a half foot cube. So on a rolling stand, you know, there's no compressor or anything like that. You can basically just roll that into a corner and it's in incredibly clean to operate too all the bling machines are yes so one tin plug in red the supplies fit in the small closet it's really an easy easy machine to make money with
All right, I think we should probably talk about the pro spangle for a minute. Wait, we got one more question. Okay. Um, now I, like I said, I've been selling the rhinestone machine since 2009. When the spangle machine came, I cannot say I was excited because I thought there's no way, no way, ever anybody's gonna like this. Because let's let's move you. Because rhinestones are where it's at. I love. Love, love the Spangle machine. I love it. Um, it is probably my favorite machine to sell, only because I never hear back from people. <laughs> They're so <laughs> They're happy. Busy. I have to call them. Um, and in the market's not saturated with with either machine, but especially the Spangle machine. It's it's semi new. Um, it's been around for two two, two and years. a half years now. But people walk into our showroom and they see a rhinestone wall and a spangle wall, and they automatically gravitate to feel the spangle. Right. So, so let let let's say a couple things first, and that's you'll definitely make money with a cams one v two. Absolutely. And when you're when you're selling a rhinestone t-shirts, when you say I have a rhinestone t-shirt, everyone knows exactly what you're talking about. Yeah. But with the with the spangle, they want to know more. Um, let me tell you this, I have a customer in Colorado that has two of our CAMS 1V60s and I tried to talk to her about the Spangle and she said that's not our market. So when we sent the second rhinestone machine that she's bought, I included a sample in with her, with it, in the crate. She called me the day they ended the crate and said, I want it, I felt <laughs> it, I saw it, I need it. So. Right. It's one of those things, seeing is believing with the with the Spangle machine. That's that's what I've gotten the past two years. So the Spangle designs look similar, but they feel different. They look they look from a far away. You can't actually tell what kind of bling it is, but the feeling is so smooth. It's almost like it's embedded into the shirt. Um, you get a pad with it that kind of pushes the material out while you're pushing down with the heat press and it becomes part of the shirt. I myself have washed, bleached, dried a few spangle shirts and the spangles don't even come off. Yeah, and you can wear them on performance wear and things like that as opposed to Right, and if, if you're a cheerleader, if you're a dancer, if you're um, a gymnast that they put the names on the little short shorts, you know, when you sit it's not going to be uncomfortable. And it's also completely lead free, which you cannot say that about rhinestones. You have to be careful with children's apparel. But with this, you can put it on a newborn baby bib if you wanted to. It'd be weird, but you could. You could. You definitely could. Why would a newborn baby have a bib on? Because their that's their fancy that's aunt may give it to them. I don't know. Okay. So what are the other some of the other differences between well, the two? Well, basically, with this machine, you're looking at six colors compared to two colors. Um, like we said, it's mostly a two, three color industry, but um, you get three of your three millimeter press units, you get two of your of your two millimeter units, and then you get a four millimeter press unit, which is the size 16. Um, this is extremely fast. You can do up to a thousand spangles per minute compared to 150, so it's about a seventh. Seven, seven times faster. Seven times faster. Um, also, the cost. When you're doing rhinestones, you have to factor in the price of the rhinestone. If you're doing peak rhinestones in October, for some reason, it's more expensive. Something that costs you $3.50, that baseball mom would not even cost you a dollar to do on sale. Right. So that's a difference as well. The price is higher for this machine, but... In the long run, the supply cost is lower, and the markup is larger. Yep. So the the cost of the supplies is about one seventh the one cost seventh. of rhinestone supplies. Okay. Um, nine ninety five for a reel that will do twenty seven thousand size three punches. Twenty seven thousand is a lot. That's a lot. a lot. And did you talk about the number of colors yet? Um, we have. Um, you're gonna get twenty two of our folded colors. And then I believe we have 53 colors of matte, glossy, and holographic, which are the shiny, um, more like the rhinestone colors. Right. But you would be surprised at the matte colors, like a matte gray, a matte um, gold. It's perfect for men. Men will actually wear it. Well, and 
I don't know about this shirt, but I mean, here's here's what we're going to run. I mean, you can see this is almost 4,000 spangles. The cost was $2, and this includes the paper. The cost was $2.35 to make that. And that is a, I mean, that's a medium shirt. That is a huge design. It's huge. And it, it people who are into horses, and I know a lot of them, will go crazy over that. Crazy. Alan, is this set up to run if we just hit start? Okay. She's, <laughs> she's scared. You'll actually see how quick this is. Yeah, now this design will take about, we won't run the whole thing. It takes about six minutes to run because it is 4,000 spangles. How much is the machine? Um, we're actually running a special right now. And um, if you are interested in finding out, I would love for you to email me so I can, so I can give it to you and explain everything that comes with it. Right. It's a little easier that way. So if, if you have a pen, please email me. Yeah, there you go. All right, so this is going to run. So what we've talked about is that the hot mix era comes with both. With both. Is the training the same for both? The training is the same. You can do selfies. You can do um, in-house or online. You're going to get, like I said, um, 20 recorded reels. You will get the, the pad that I told you about. You'll get 100 transfer sheets. You'll get the software. And um, you'll get all six press units. Um, I always suggest with either machine, you want to get a half press and a heat press. Yeah, bling hats are there. People will pay for that. So we did have a question. Um, what is the maintenance on the machines? Maintenance is very, very simple on both machines. Um, it's a little oily. I mean, they're both machines. On this one, actually, it, it shows you what you need to oil, but you learn a whole maintenance in the training. But it's not more than a few minutes a day no, on, it, on each it, one. These, these, both of these machines are least problematic machines, and that is, I mean, I barely get calls, especially, you know, maybe in the first month when people right. are really getting used to it, but... It's a wonderful, wonderful machine to have, both of them. And, I mean, honestly, if you want to see what it's like, you can go to support.coldessie.com and actually look at the self-paced training yes. and what the maintenance is like. Yes. We'd actually encourage you to do that so you see operating the machine. These are the two simplest machines I think that we sell. Absolutely, they are. And we among have the most people, profitable. We have people running them out of their home. We have people running them out of their shop. Um... We have one customer that takes their machine on, in a trailer along with an embroidery machine and a printer and does on-spot work at motorcycle festivals, art festivals, fishing festivals. So, I mean, they're both portable. Yep. And if you go to, I just put in the coldessie.com website, if you go there, you'll see a number of success stories of people that have bought the cams and the pro spangle and are just making it big. Will you put my... Um, Will you put my email on there so they can contact me? Absolutely. Um, we've got a question. Have you found rhinestone customers like this better? Like the Spangle machine? Yeah. You know, it's it's really what you want to offer your customer. If your people, like I said, people are absolutely in awe of the Spangles when they see them. The markup is better. Um, on the Spangle. The Spangle is a higher investment in the beginning, but you can offer both. Whichever one you get, you can always buy transfers and offer both. Yeah. We all we all we all love the, the Spangle machine. We love the CAMS machine too. The the basic difference I would say, and I'm a little bit more prejudiced, is the price. Yes. I mean if you can afford a Spangle and fit it in your house. Which get it's, the pro spangle. It's not that big. It's right. a tabletop model. It's just not as portable as, say, the rhinestone. Yeah, you really, you're not going to put the 
the Pro Spangle in the back of your SUV and take it to shows as yeah. easily as you will the, the Cam Columbia right. 2. Right, but you can take a heat press and blank apparel and hat and, and transfers and you're good to go. Yeah. So uh, another question, what type of support do you offer after the purchase of your machine? Um, you get, as I said, your warranty, you get phone support, you get online support. Um, you have a warranty should something go wrong. We have technicians scattered throughout the United States. That is something that I can honestly say we don't have to do on site for these machines. We yeah. do not. Um, over the phone, we do Skype, we do email support, we do. Alan is the face of our support. Yeah, when it for, comes for to bling. bling, he is the king of bling. I actually had a customer come in to look at this machine and took a picture with Alan because <laughs> they've seen so many videos. And, and Lisa, look, I mean, I think one of the, there's a couple of other things that we do, and that is you can go to that training and self paced training. You can take self paced training every day if you wanted to. So if you're trying to do something and you can't figure out how, you go to the support site, look at the training class, and you can figure out how to do it. The other thing you'll, that you'll get is if you listen to the Customer Apparel Startups podcast, you'll get business advice. Um, we have webinars on how to set up websites. We have, we have it on marketing tips. We've got you know ongoing education on a lot of different things. So you're we, in good hands. Yeah, and we will give you wholesale information on shirts, tank tops, sweatshirts, hats, bags, we want you. We're here for your success. Yep. And uh, and this is kind of in, by way of a segue. Uh, you also buy all your supplies for these things from our in-house supply company called Coleman Home. Right. You, if you're doing embroidery now, they carry thread, they carry backing, they carry a patch kit, they carry rhinestones, they carry DTG ink. Um, it's a one-stop shop. For and they're and they're and they're in the building. So so you know they they have. They have no place to run. They, they <laughs> rarely, if ever, have I ever heard them run out of stock on anything that you're going to need to uh, um, to bling with. Uh, you get transfer paper there. Everything basically but blank t-shirts. Right. And coffee. We don't sell the coffee anymore. <laughs> or uh, candy. We don't get candy anymore. There you go. Tracy, do you have anything anything you wanted to say one more time about any of these things? Or? No. Mark's going to put my email address, and I would love to hear from you. I will send you everything you need to know about this machine, what it comes with. Um, I can send you a PDF of all the colors that it comes with, anything you need. Yep. So, so and uh, I would do this, I would do this quickly. I think that um, we've got some great stuff going on this yeah. month. This is our last, August is typically a slow month for, for this industry. So this is kind of your, your last seasonal chance to take advantage of us being a little bit slow. Right, because normally in the, in the fourth quarter, things go crazy. Well, things go crazy and Greenwich rises raises prices, so <laughs> that's right. That's <laughs> Don't right. tell them I said that. All right, so um, thanks, Tracy. Appreciate Thank that. You. Thank you, guys. And you guys all have Tracy's email. Next, what we're going to do is um, is I'm going to flip the camera around to Mark Vila. We do not have him in front of a nice background, um, but what he's going to talk about is the cut and press. Hey, Hi. there he is. Okay, there we, there we are. So. Uh, actually, the first thing that I would like to mention is we didn't talk too much about it in the webinar, but yeah. when we're looking at the CAM machine, we're not just talking about rhinestones, but we're also talking about nail heads and rhine studs. Right. So when That's we true. so these are metal or, or you know metal type of products, and they come in neon colors and solid colors and ones that are almost painted on a little bit. So there's a lot of different other styles besides just stones that you can get, and um, I forget the calculate. The last time I ran the calculation, but between sizes and colors alone, you know, I mean, there's hundreds of options. So just in rhinestones alone, there's over 30 colors, seven different sizes. We've got pretty close to that in studs, a little bit less in nail heads. So there's a lot in regards to that. So uh, then we'll move on into the other thing that you use. The drop. All right. Um, the other thing that you're going to really want to get into if you're in the bling business. So if you're in the bling business. You know, it's, it's obvious that you're going to be working with really two things. One is there's a level of detail you're going to be able to get if you're looking to do really small lettering, if you're looking to do really high detail designs, you're going to need something to fill in that gap. If you have a customer that has a terribly complex design, uh, you might not be able to achieve the look that they want with rhinestones. Right. Um, you're also going to deal with menswear. 
Um, you're going to deal with things where a rhinestone isn't the right way to go, um, or a spangle might not be the right way to go. So another thing to think about was when she mentioned the shorts where you have to sit down. That's yeah. not necessarily always a, the best thing for rhinestones. Um, if you're doing rhinestones and you have the spangle option, maybe you're covering them both then, but also the vinyl option is another way to go there and you can still bling out that way. Yeah, it, it really is the fact that, you know, you're going to be getting customers that are interested in bling. Every single one of them at some point are going to ask you for just a regular custom t-shirt. Yeah, or a hat. Yeah, or a you hat. You know, a hat is, an, is another thing. And, and again, we always, we have to, we have to go into, if we're talking about baseball moms, there's, there's, you know, there's, there's a dad. A, there's a baseball there, dad. Sometimes. You know, uh, at least you know, 47% of the time, I think. At some point in time, there was, there was a, a dad. dad. Yeah. Um, and at some point in time, there was a baseball mom. So we have both. And we want to be able to cater to both of those types of customers. Also, if we're dealing with, uh, if you're dealing with corporate wear, um, right. you know, half of the people that work for the company are going to be men. And they might not want a blinged out logo on the shirt. They might want something simple and nice and neat and clean that they can wear. You know, um, like this little cut and press that design. That looks great. Right here. This that is looks a great. two color, so it's a gold metallic, if you can tell, and a white. So you can get really small lettering. You can get websites and phone numbers yep. that might be asked for. Yep. Um, in addition to that, you can go kind of the, um, you know, a bling route with it that will go along with your rhinestones and your rhine studs. Yeah. So when you want the a highly detailed design, like maybe something like this that might not achieve the same look in rhinestone. Um, you can actually achieve both on the same garment. And this right here is kind of a, you know, a full on scenario where we used everything. We used, right. a, we used a matte finish, a, a glitter, and then rhinestones. And, and that kind of brings me to the, to the reason that we really wanted Mark here to show this off is because we, in particular, we have cams and pro spangle customers that are, that are doing this now. They're using vinyl um, to do big numbers and things like that, and then they're using rhinestones and pro spang and, and spangles on top of it or around it to to take it to the next level. Yeah, and, and this is what a what a perfect example might be would be if you do the say the baseball mom shirt or yep. the football mom shirt. The dad might want the logo on the front, yeah, the team logo on the front, the team name on the front, and then the number on the back. Right, and that's what the dad and the brother, um, and that's what all of them are going to want. So you get to you get to service both customers. Both of them are going to be heat applied apparel, yep. so it's not going to be that much different than you're working with now. You can mm -hmm. run both machines at the same time in the same room. In the same room, right? On the same electricity. Um, oftentimes, your heat settings are going to be pretty close, so you yep. can run under the same heat press. There's a lot of things to do here. Um, the way that this machine works, in a nutshell, is you have various rolls. Of material that you can purchase, and when you when you when you purchase a cut and press kit, which is what we're looking at here, you're going to get uh, ten rolls like this. So these are this is the sample size roll. You can also get a kit that's got full size rolls in it too. Right. The full size rolls in it are about this, so it's about ten times the amount if you get the larger kit. Okay. And uh, Tracy can tell you all, all about the different size kits uh, when you when what specials go with the machine. Yeah. But when you purchase this, you're gonna get sample rolls. All this, you get a, you get a kit also as well, which I'm gonna show you. And this is probably the, I, don't I, know, I this love is this my part. Pride yeah. enjoy, I love, love it. So I'll bring it up close so you can actually see. But this is how to make your first shirt in 55 minutes. And this is actually a full kit of everything you need to get started. Uh, this is this is just part of the kit. The rest of it comes in the box with your cut and press. But what this is, is this is actually your first shirt, a USB drive, all the tools that you need to run. You've got 10 different colors. And it's a video series. You plug in your USB drive, and it says start here. You double click in, and it goes through a series of videos, setting up the machine, installing the software. It's self-paced and only takes about an hour to do from the time that you put the USB drive in till you actually have your first physical shirt in your hand that you've created. Awesome. So it's very easy to use and the software uh, is is a little bit easier than rhinestone software. Not too much, but the only difference is you only have to worry about straight and curved. You don't have fills to, to deal with. You don't have with, to worry right. about the fills. The, the material does the fills for you. Right. So, um, and what's great about it as well is that if you have the, the software that you use, you can actually use the same exact software. So you can take uh, that software you were looking at before will actually create vector lines that you can cut, 
that you're cutting a sheet. Right. Uh, so you can actually literally take the same design, you click a button to convert it to a vector line, yep. and then you just cut, and that's it. And um, the only thing you need to directly send to the machine is a communication driver. Um, otherwise, there is software that comes specifically for the cut and press system that is just designed for that. And yep. you can also export a design out of that and bring it into your other software. So there's compatibility. Lot, lots to do. There's lots a lot to, to do. do and a lot of compatibility. But this kit is is also it's a great add-on. It's ready to go and it's perfect. You you need to be able to service to service. If we just talk about men and women, you want to be able to service both. Right. And specializing in the bling business can be extremely profitable, but there will be a degree of business you either turn away or you have to outsource if you don't right. have some sort of unisex. And, and you're talking about adding a few thousand dollars onto the purchase, Correct. not yeah. not another ten thousand dollar system. You're talking about adding somewhere in between two and three thousand dollars. Two and three thousand, and and for three thousand, you've got the a full kit. Yeah. A full. I mean, it's loaded. It's it's enough to do. I mean, you could you could do hundreds of these with what comes in right, the kit. Right. You're you're literally ready for production. So now the one v two p in this for under twenty thousand dollars, you are seriously in business. Yeah. And the pro spangle, you're you know you're kicking it up another notch. So that's yeah. great. And and the uh, the last thing to note is um, about everyone kind of asks about getting started with this and you know, okay. is the video is that easy and how do I get yeah. trained? Uh, and what we do is when a new employee starts with Coleman and Company. One of the first things they do in that week is I put them into the training room alone with nobody else, and I give them this, and I say the cutter's in there. We're gonna pretend like you opened it up and you and and you were, you took it out of the box, and here you go, and come out and make your first shirt. There you go. And um, everybody who's been given it has made their first shirt alone. Yeah, and to me that just says you know it it has to be easy. Enough. I mean the one girl took took eight and a half hours. She doesn't work here anymore. She doesn't work here anymore. But but it really is easy. It really, yeah. Is so it's it's all doable and um, and that's it. It's okay. all this stuff's real exciting for me. I, I love it all. All this stuff is really cool. And I've sold the the rhinestone machines myself for some years, and I have to agree with everything that was said. I mean the customers are really love this machine. Okay. Yeah, love the machine. Great. Anything else about the cut and press you want to say? I think we're good. We're okay. Good. Thanks. Yeah, ColemanandCompany.com, or of course, you know, contact us directly. I'm sure Mark will share links if you have any specific questions. I was I was going to, but I I decided <laughs> I decided not to. Okay, guys, thanks very much for uh, paying attention to us for a while. We really appreciate it. I tried to record this. I don't know if I was successful or not. You're welcome to send me an email and find out, or better yet, subscribe to that YouTube channel and you will be notified when I upload the uh, video.